Hello, I am Aida Salazar, the author of Land of the Cranes, and I'm here to extend my deep, deep gratitude to the Jane Addams Peace Awards for recognizing Land of the Cranes with an honor. It means a great deal to me because this award so aligns with the hopes woven into my work that strive for social justice, for equity, and for peace. Land of the Cranes is a difficult story. It's about an undocumented nine-year-old Mexican girl incarcerated in a modern-day concentration camp on U.S. soil simply for being a migrant. And she believes that all migrants should be free to fly like cranes across borders. And she uses her picture poems to soar above, to lift herself above the cruelty that she experiences while she's caged. I wrote this story during a time in our country when the 45th president was giving off all of this anti-immigrant rhetoric and dominating our popular consciousness. And as a formerly undocumented immigrant myself, who was born in Mexico and brought over as a baby, these attacks were personal. They were attacks on my immediate family and my communities, and they were so, so wounding. But the truth is that the criminalization of migration has a very long history in the United States and has afflicted different communities from the Muslim ban to the Japanese concentration camps during World War II to Chinese Exclusion Act to Operation Wetback and on and on. We're even seeing it displayed despicably on our streets against Asian Americans. So the target on immigrant communities has changed, but at no point has it ever been right. And what's more is that though there might be a change in administration, the urgency remains because it is still happening. And we, all of us, must do everything we can to stop it. As an arts activist, my writing has been the avenue through which I reject injustice. I believe writing revolutionary, transformative, inspirational books for children is one of the most important things that we could be doing during this time. I intended for Land of the Cranes to not only give readers a mirror for, for those who see themselves reflected in these pages, but also a window into the humanity the real children are experiencing in the U.S., but also to give readers a roadmap, the agency to take action. So through Betita's story and the use of her voice and her art to make a change, I hope readers are inspired to raise their own voices and shut down the forces that seek to render people a target of hate and cruelty or any less valuable and worthy of compassion and love. So thank you, Jane Adams Association, for the existence of this award, for honoring books, all of these books today, and for recognizing the intention of my book to make the world a better place. I'm so grateful and so moved. Thank you. Muchas gracias.